going to meet our uh, leukemia positive cats. We made this because, well, we'll come in and I'll explain. There's not a lot of room here. We had to make a double door so they don't escape. marmalade. Come around. Not only does marmalade have leukemia, he's also got brain damage which is why he walks a little bit like this. However he's doing amazing now because when he came he was just skin and bone and couldn't walk at all. Now he's getting used to his uh... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> and this loud one here is Tattoo. We named Tattoo after the tattoo on my back because his face. Show your beautiful face looks exactly like the tattoo on my back we'll have to show you so we had tattoo we rescued tattoo when was it how long ago we couldn't touch him either when we got him um probably nine months ten months ago and we had him in our quarantine and then found out that he had leukemia and uh, so we couldn't let him out with all the other cats but the only real other option you speak to the vets and things you, no one wants to rehome an old cat with leukemia so they sort of said the only option is to put them to sleep which we didn't really want to do because i mean look at him he's happy lovely healthy other than that and they can live a full life with leukemia that's, that's not a problem the thing is they just can't live free in case they could share it with all the other cats so we built this leukemia um run enclosure so at least they can stay here and lots of the volunteers come in and cuddle them and they seem happy enough. We had a third cat in here, Negrita, but she got rehomed like two weeks ago, which was amazing. So they do still have a chance of being rehomed as indoor cats. But uh, these two haven't had it yet, but they're best friends and some of the volunteers, that, so they come in the afternoon and just lay in here with them. So. I can't, sometimes when I'm just doing work on my phone, I come and lay in here with them and work from my phone. And there I go. But I think now they just want breakfast. They're being super cute, but really they just want breakfast. He's just on bacon now. Oh, you've already got breakfast, you liars. Roberta's already come and done it. Yeah, isn't that the case? You just want to cover the rest you. Did you just help yourself with the bag as well? This one, the bag is obviously better than what's in the thing. As you can, you've got it right there. No, no. He's ahead of me. So lie. As you can see, it's a little bit flooded because it rained. Well, not flooded, but very wet because it rained last night. But no. Do you want to come for your close up? Show how beautiful you are. Look how pretty I am. Should we show you? I don't know if I can, I don't know if I've got the clothes that I can show you. Tattoo comes next to my. Can you see that from there? No, Tattoo, yes. come and show your face. <laughs> Tattoo! Come on, this is your moment to shine, mate. Well, he's not going to cooperate. Well, maybe we just have to put a picture of his face next to mine. But doesn't he look like it? Hmm. Fine. That was your moment. <laughs> <laughs> he looks really annoyed by that. Because I don't like the name. <laughs> oh. The other one's got a little more. We did a name raffle for Marmalade. And uh, I can't honestly remember. I've got it written down. Who... Um, who his, his sponsor picked his name was. But quite a few people picked Marmalade. Mm. Can you hear him purring? I don't think that's going to pick that up. He's such a happy little cat now. But we actually found him here on the Finca. He was, um, we kept finding him by the horse water. He was like falling down and couldn't, and then he got stuck in the water because he couldn't walk, he couldn't do anything. But it still took a couple of days for us to catch him, amazingly. He would, couldn't really move and then he just ran and squeezed in rocks. But eventually we got you. And then he had to have a little operation. A couple of little operations, because we had to... <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> oh, you're so cute. 
Hey. Now look how fat you are, huh? Fatty, I want I'll see if I can find a photo of what you look like when we go. Hey. If you want to sponsor any of these cats, you can. On Patreon. I mean, anything to go towards their care. And they're at the moment they're pretty healthy, but with leukemia it can go can go the other way. And um, we're happy to give them their forever life, but if anybody wants to rehome them, they are they would love although ideally I would really like them to go together because I don't want to leave one on their own in here. And especially as they're so happy and they love each other. But if you want to sponsor them monthly on Patreon and then you get all the background behind the scenes on all of, not only them, all of our animals, you can. Just look at a beautiful little face. And Tattoo again, he looks like he wants a grumpy face. <laughs> <laughs> In the ball right next to him. Tattoo, that's not a very friendly face. <laughs> now he's realised he's not getting a second be breakfast, he's not interested. Not like you, look at you. Such a cute cat. Ow, can we play without your claws though? <laughs> so what just happened? No. 